Creating face ceilings in Revit and creating a gaps for the curtains is way simpler than you're expecting. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you one of the ways, which is a very simple way and very correct regarding the modelings of how you can do that. And what you're also going to learn is how you can set up some parameters and have a very good control over the things you modeled. And by the way, before I move to the topic, if you would like to learn more about the Revit, we have over 4 hours of free Revit training available on our platform and you can find the access link in the description of this video. So in Revit, first thing I'm going to do will be just to create a simple model of the few walls and floors. So before the thickness of this floor is 300, I'm just going to put the top offset of minus 300. And then I'm going to create a ceiling. So for a ceiling, I will just create a new type. And I'm just going to make it 10 millimeters thick. So a bit because it's easier for the calculation for you who are going to learn. So let's move this up, make it 10 millimeters, and then I'm going to delete this structure. And I'm going to do sketch ceiling. So I'm going to offset it for, let's say, 100 from the sides. And then I'm going to align it here. So what I need to do is just trim it. And then I'm going to make the height of, let's say, 2.6 meters. Let's open this section view. And I think that the height of the level is quite high. I can make it on 3 meters, for example. And let's decrease this to 2.4. It doesn't matter. So, what's going on now? How we can create our place inside for, let's say, the light, for hidden installations, for the curtains or so. So, one of the things will be, for example, to, to do next. I will, let's say, go here. I can actually open the ceiling plan view. And I can just put here a wireframe mode. And I will take a wall tool. So, we'll create a new type. Which is 10 millimeters thick. And I can pick also gypsum board material here. So I'm just going to offset it, let's say, for 120. It doesn't matter, 150. And if I go to our 3D view, you see how it looks like. So what I know is that the top of these uh, walls needs to go to the bottom of the floor. So I will go to minus 300 here. But what's going on here now? How we can control the things. So let's say that I drag this up to here, for example. And then if I go to 2.2 meters or if I go to 2.6, it doesn't follow. And how we can make it to follow? So if I select the ceiling, and if I click on this uh, square here and uh, click Associate Global Parameters, I can create a parameter which is called A, for example. And then let's say that uh, to control it, you need to go here to Manage, Global Parameters. And if I would like to decrease this to 2.4 or let's say 2 meters, you can do that from the global parameters from the Manage tab. But what's going on, uh, we know that this is 10 millimeters thick. So what's going on with our walls now? If I select our walls, or actually, if I go here to global parameters, and if I create a new parameter, which is called B, and if I make that the B is A plus 10 millimeters, now when I select our walls, I can go here to the base offset and I can associate parameter B and look what's, what's going to happen now. You see that it came to here, so it follows. And by the way, if I, let's say, now would like to just control this height and put this to 2.4 meters, you see that everything works well. 
and there is one more very important thing is that you can control this offset here as well so by the way if i would like this to be fixed on let's say 80 millimeters i can just select this wall and then type here 80 and then i can lock it so if i just remember that this side is locked so right now if i go edit this one and if i place it to here you see that this wall is following so if i again do this for this one and put 80 and lock this one again i mean as well and if i let's say edit our ceiling like this you see that it follows so it's pretty easy to control it and let's just bring this back let's just make this to be 100 from here and then this one so you see that it comes back and this is a very correct way of how you can model this and uh, if you have any questions about this just feel free to write in the comments and by the way if you would like to know more about the ceiling ceiling modelings and how you can create and control the ceiling shadow gap in revit just watch this tutorial